a very soft glam and it's very wearable you can use this like on like a daily basis or like if you're going out to the movies with your friends or something like that to ma very pretty and simple so yeah if you like what you're seeing then stay tuned and keep on watching thanks I'm starting off with Matchbox Full Exposure Palette and I'm using the color M3 as a transition color. And I'm just going to be placing this on the crease and blending it back and forth. With a smaller brush, I'm using the color M4 which is that white color and I'm using this on my brow bone. Now I'm taking the color M2 which is a little bit more darker than M3. I'm applying it on the crease to create depth. Now I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Balm on Palette and I'm using the color Mocha and I'm applying this on my crease. Once again, I am using from light to dark colors on my crease to create depth and help them blend smoother. Now I'm taking the color Melted, which is a dark chocolate color, I'm putting this just on the outer half, so like the outer V of my eye. This darker color will really help the look look more smoky. So first I'm just applying it with a really small dense brush to really pack it on there and then I'll be taking a really fluffy brush to blend it out. Now with a flat brush and Max Fix Plus, I'm using the color Pink Champagne from Anastasia and I'm applying this over my eyelid. The reason I am wetting the brush first is to make the color stand out more. Ignore the outer part, I'm going to be using some eyeliner which will cover it up and I'll also be using it as a guide to clean that outer portion. And for eyeliner, I'm taking the NYC Liquid Liner. I'm curling my eyelashes and then I'm applying the Laurel Telescopic Mascara to help them prep for my fake lashes. With Duo Lash Adhesive, I'm taking the lashes by Vegas Ney in Golden Goddess. Now to prep my face, I'm using the Ganique Body Oil. And this really helps me out because I have really dry skin and this is a really good moisturizer for me. To further hydrate my face, I'm taking these Skin Ink Drops and then I'll be taking my Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I'll just be really blending this out. Now I'm taking some Mario Badescu Facial Spray and my foundation, the Cover FX Oil Free Foundation and the Cover Girl Outlast. Everything else is really the same from my um, foundation routine which I posted a couple months ago so I'll link that down below so I won't go into too much depth.
Back to the eyes for my lower lash line, I'm taking the color Melted with that same dense brush and I'm going to be applying this underneath and blending it out. For my inner corner, I'm taking the color Satin Sheets and I'm applying it with a really small brush. To make the look more put together, I'm going to be going in back with the same brushes to blend it out. And now I'm taking the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and applying it on my lower lash line. And I'm also going to touch up a little bit on my lashes. And I'm taking some clear brow gel by Maybelline, the Great Lash, to set my eyebrows in place. And I'm going back in with my NYC eyeliner to cover up my lash band. Now taking this MAC lipstick called Pure Pout, I'm going to be applying this on my lips and also be applying this Pillow Plump Lip Gloss, which I'm obsessed with. It makes your lips look so big and juicy, so shout out to Celia for introducing me to this. And now to set my face, I'm taking this Mario Badusco Facial Spray and spritzing it all over. And I went a little bit crazy with it. But yeah, thanks so much you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.